Jamaica's four by 100 meter relay teams sparkled in this morning session on day four of the World Athletics Under 20 Championships being held in Lima, Peru. Both the male and female team enter the finals as the fastest teams and the teams to beat. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to go. But you did hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, are you ready? Yeah, good to go. Well, the relay teams were in action this morning, including the men's and women's 4x400 four four meter relay teams, as well as the men's and women's 4x100 meter relay teams. The uh, women and men in the 4x400 four meter relay team went first in this morning's session. Of course, we're referencing the youngsters, the under 20 athletes uh, representing Jamaica at the World Athletics on the 20 Championships taking place there in Lima, Peru, where here it's a little warmer today. Jamaica fielded what I thought was a pretty solid 4x400 four meter relay team for the young ladies. The team comprised of Wright on the opening leg, Williams on the second leg, Campbell on the third leg, and Fletcher doing the pleasure of taking us home to the finishing line. The Jamaican ladies, um, well, they ended up second in their heat, qualifying safely through to the finals. But the truth is, um, Natasha Fletcher, they, they could have easily won that heat. But it, you know what? It doesn't really matter because they're going into the finals with one of the faster times. Uh, the team of Abrina Wright, Shanique Williams, Anicia Campbell and Natasha, Nastasia, apologies, Fletcher, um, came second in a time of... of 3 minutes 38.04 seconds. They were just clipped on the line. To be able to battle hard down this straight. Look at Shane Vermeulen chasing down, chasing down. She's not only chasing those top two spots, she's also chasing the time, remember, for that fastest qualifying position. That was 36 for the US. So, so good job there by the four young ladies entering the finals in the 4 by 100 meter relays. Now in the men's, 4x400 four meter relays. The team comprised of Smith on the opening leg, Robinson on the second leg, Pinnock on the third, and Bygrave on the anchor leg. The team comprising of Sean Dane, Smith, Omari, Robinson, uh, Odane, Pinnock, and Kamari, Kamario Bygrave ran 3 minutes 11.30 seconds to take third in their heat. Now, um, it was only the team that came first that made it through to the finals automatically. It will count. It is important to keep running hard to the line. That's what Jamaica are trying to do. First two can afford to ease up, but not too much for the Polish team because they might be easing up a little bit too soon there. But no, Bygrave came through for Jamaica. So unfortunately, the Jamaican men's under 24 by 400 meter relay team will not advance to the finals. Introducing Peter Lloyd World Merchandise, where style meets comfort. From trendy tees to cozy hoodies, we've got something for everyone. Elevate your wardrobe with our high quality, fashionable designs that make a statement. Whether you're hitting the streets or chilling at home, Peter Lloyd World has you covered. Shop now and upgrade your look with Peter Lloyd World merchandise. Available exclusively at Peter Lloyd World. Link in description below. The men's 4x100 meter relay team did better than the men's 4x4. In fact, they did extremely well, advancing to the finals as the team to beat. The team comprising of Jace Witter, Gary Card, Naron Wade and DeAndre Daly ran 39.54 entering the finals as the fastest qualifying team. This of course is a season's best. It is between Jamaica and Tobago. Who has got it now? Will be Jamaica to the line. Trinidad and Tobago running hard for that time. They looked really, really good in this qualifying. Give it to DeAndre Daly. Good slick changeover again from the Jamaican team. The battle on the far side for those spaces. But 
let's see how they do in the finals. I think they should be able to medal, all going well. Now, the female team was incredible. The team which comprised of Dockery, Baker, Docker in the first leg, Baker the second, Campbell in the third leg, and Reed on the anchor leg did also did extremely well, entering the finals as the team to beat. Team Jamaica's Sabrina Dockery, Aaliyah Baker, Brianna Campbell, and Alana Reed did as one would have anticipated, running a time of 43.81 to qualify. And the truth is, Alana Reed was not pressed. The first three young ladies did such a great job, she basically sauntered into the finishing line. Although Nigeria trying to get back at them, and the French messed up the baton change. They haven't got the baton over inside the box. So it had actually the team from Puerto Rico coming through to make that final right on the outside. And I don't think Consummate run by the quartet for Jamaica. To ensure they had a crucial changeover as slick as possible. Watch uh, for the I Jamaican team. I don't know if we'll see uh, Franceschini as she crosses the line, but she's looking across in disbelief. I don't think they expected to qualify, least of all from lane nine. I really don't think they did, but they had good changeovers all the way around, and particularly that last changeover. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. We certainly fielded two great 4 by 100 meter relay teams. And don't get me wrong, it's not over till it's over. Um, the other teams are pretty strong, but both teams enter the finals as the ones to beat, if my memory serves me correctly. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but I think I'm right. Um, the Both teams did not surprise, the selections did not surprise, and I thought they made good, solid selections. This is going to be very interesting. The finals happens tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow is the final day of the World Athletics Under-20 Championships 2024, which is, of course, taking place in Lima, Peru. What was I, I was very, very um, impressed with, particularly amongst the young men, are how smooth the baton passes were. You know, I always talk about the fact that we need to do a lot, a lot more baton changes. So, I mean, they look good. Um, let's hope for the best. Uh, it looks to me as if we have two solid medals coming. They should be gold or at the very least silver. They Both of them look really, really good, particularly young ladies. Great squad. I don't think I would change anyone. They looked good. The young men, same thing. Um, in terms of the four by 400 meter relay women, I'm not quite sure what happens with, to, with Nastasia Fletcher. I don't know if she just wasn't warmed up properly or she just stopped concentrating because, you know, she could have won that, um, that, that heat quite easily. And I, I don't know. Now the young lady who, who, um, ran an honor, it was brilliant. I'm not going to say no, but you know, they might have to make some changes uh, because I think we can also definitely medal in that one. It's going to be a little bit more difficult than the 4 by one but the young ladies look good. As for the young men in the 4 by 4 they did their best. It just didn't quite work out. Today, there'll be another day. I'm trying to be an optimist, okay? I'm, I'm trying to be positive, you know. But um, we, we're doing okay there, over there in Lima, Peru, people. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Uh, the, the youngsters are standing up and holding the flag high. Um, and let's see what happens in the finals tomorrow, but I suspect we should be on the podium. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to go over there and support us at our online merchandise store at printify.com. We shall leave a link in the description below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, which will the like button. Remember, you are royals, kings and queens. Bless up! Oh, by the way, apologies for the last video on Akira Nugent. I'm not quite sure what happened. Um, that's the second time that's happened. And it, the, 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 we always double check. And I don't know what happened. We're trying to figure out how that happened. It happened twice now. The, the first time was about a week or two ago. We, we always go right back through the edits. That, that noise issue was not there. So we're trying to understand. We might have to be, we, I might have to change um, or ask the editors to use another editing editing app because something is off so i apologize for that but you know it only lasts in that video for maybe a, maybe 30 seconds and then you can move on to the rest of the video it's not there but we're going to keep trying to ensure that it doesn't happen again